I am pleased to present to you Dr. Eric Alterman, distinguished professor of English at Brooklyn College and professor of journalism at the CUNY Graduate School of Journalism. He's the author of seven books, including two national bestsellers, what, liberal media, the truth about bias and the news, and the book on Bush, how George W. misled America. Whenever any organization, be it the White House National Security Council or the Neighborhood Committee for Aluminum Recycling, seeks to gain for a particular viewpoint, its first strategic question is always the same. How do we attract media attention? The problem is not that our media doesn't serve consumers very well. The problem is that it doesn't serve the republic very well. So today we have a whole world of cable news, of Fox TV, of, of um, talk radio, for God's sakes, which is entirely dominated by the viewpoint that you can't trust the national media. And the liberal blogosphere exists for two reasons. One is the Lipmanian function of trying to improve the mainstream media. A lot of the liberal blogosphere is about improving the information we get from the liberal media by holding it, from the media, by holding it accountable. So we have a situation now where the mainstream media uh, has lost its traditional role because it's distrusted by the right as being part of an elite for one reason, and it's distrusted by the left for being an elite for another reason. At the same time, it's less and less able to defend itself because its, its business model is under siege and it can't do the things it needs to do to survive. Okay? There's no money. The New York Times spends $3 million a year minimum, maybe higher now, keeping a bureau in Baghdad. Okay? There's no advertising to pay. No, no advertisers care if there's a bureau in Baghdad. They care if there's a sports section. They care if there's an auto section. They care if there's an escape section. They care if there's restaurant reviews. But they don't care about Baghdad. They don't care about Africa.